All right, guys, so to start this trick off, all I have to do is shuffle up the deck a little bit like this, and then we can start it. I'm just gonna pick three predictions, and then you guys are not gonna be able to see them until the end of the trick. So let's say we have one there, and then we just need two more real quick. So I'll go through and pick, let's say I pick these two cards here, and now at this point, what I need is the box that's gonna be over here. And at this point, let's say, um, if you guys are here, I'd actually leave the three predictions with you, but you're not. So I'm going to put them underneath the card box over here. This way you guys can know I can't touch them. And then from here, I'm going to shuffle up the deck one more time, and then I'll have you guys pick two more cards. So let's say you guys say stop whenever you want. You guys said stop here. And we're going to put the two cards down right here. Remember, these are two completely random selections, and at this point, the first card you chose is the queen of diamonds. So what I want to do is take the queen here and show you that the other three cards that I happen to choose were the one, two, three, four queens, just like that. And I'll go ahead and let's say, let's say I show you guys that one, two, three, this is the queen you chose. And at this point, I'm going to show you the second card that you happen to choose, which is the ace of spades. And if I snap my fingers, just like that, the other three queens are going to change into the other three aces. So this is a trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys. So this trick isn't too bad. Um, but if you are a beginner, I would recommend maybe learning something a little more easier. So if you want to do that, you can click the link down below. But anyways, here's how the trick is going to work. So let's say uh, the first thing you want to do is get out the four aces and the three queens. And this is the way um, I do the tricks. So let's say we take the three queens here. And then you want to take the ace of spades and you're going to put it in this order so you have the queens going red, black, red, and then the ace. And then you put this on top of the deck. And then from here you should have one of the queens on top. And then from here what you want to do is you're just going to take the aces and put them, it doesn't really matter what order they go in, but you're putting them really close to the bottom just like this. So this is what they should look like from the bottom and then from here what you can do is you can go up to the spectator and tell them that you can start it off by shuffling the deck and all you're doing is shuffling the deck but making sure to leave the top four cards in that same order so it's really simple you just leave those there and then you tell the spectator alright so I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple predictions and you turn the deck towards you so they can't see what you're doing and then you go through and you look for those aces and then you move them to the top so let's say we go through the deck, and as you guys can see, you're just looking for those aces, so it doesn't really matter, like I said, what order they're in. You put those to the top, flip the deck over, and then from here what you're going to do uh, is show them, okay, look, so I'm going to take my three predictions, and now what you're doing is when you're saying I'm going to take these three predictions is you're just kind of fanning over five cards in general. So as you can see, I have three here and then two right here, so I have a total of five. And then what you want to do is when you square the deck up, so you say, okay, I'm going to take the three predictions, you square it back up, and what you're doing is you're wanting to get a five-card break. You square the cards back up, and you say, you know what, can you hold these for a second? And you can have them cover it up, because you don't want them to be able to see uh, the thickness of the five cards versus the three cards. So if you have them, cover it up with their hands, or leave it underneath the box. And then at this point, you can shuffle up the deck one more time, making sure to leave the top two cards in order so at least leave two cards on top and what you're going to be left with is the queen and the ace and then from here all i did was a really simple riffle force so i swing cutted the cards got a pinky break and then wherever the spectator said stop i just took it from that break cut the cards and dealt the cards out right to left and then from here what you have is the queen on the right and the ace on the left so at this point you can ask for the cards back from the spectator and you want to leave the deck kind of um, within reach because you have to place some cards back on top so let's say the cards here you ask for the three card packet back but in reality this is five cards and you say okay look so let's say the first card you had me stop at and you leave this face up on the packet and say okay well this was a queen and this so happens to be the my other three predictions you flip the cards over and then you want to do an Elmsley count. I'll leave a link for that, but essentially you're going to just be covering up these three aces as you count the cards. So you just do your Elmsley count. I'll leave a link for it. You leave this card out jogged, the face down card. 
and then you're going to flip that back on top and you count out the four queens and then from here you're going to flip over the cards put it into a biddle grip and fan out and say look so I'm going to take your one two three and then you're going to be left with a card packet over here a three card packet of all the three queens and you say look now this is the queen you chose because once you fan out the cards you go one two three I'm going to go ahead and take your queen and you flash it for a second and you drop the three card packet on here and now you've gotten rid of all the queens and now you're left with the aces you put these face down and say look let's go ahead and take a look at your second prediction or your second selection and you show them that this is the ace of spades you snap your fingers and you come over and you say look now the other queens have changed into the aces so this is a trick guys hope you guys like it um if you are a beginner and you're looking for a little bit more help make sure like i said to click the link below anyways guys this is the video hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching